Hey guys, uh, in this video we're going to look at uh, one of the new apps in Canva, which is uh, called Tracer. And this will take uh, images and photos and trace them and turn them into SVGs for you. Okay, so we're going to play around with it a little bit this morning. Um, I haven't used it yet, so we're going to experiment together and uh, see what we come up with. So to get to it, just go to your Canva homepage, click on apps, and just search Tracer, okay? And it will bring it right up here, and then you can open it up, and let's see what we can do with it, all right? So I have it already opened up with a new design here, all right? So it says here, upload or select an image in your design to create an SVG. So let's see what we've got, okay? Um, I am going to start with something easy. We're going to go to a black and white uh, clip art image. All right. That's always pretty easy, but you never know. Sometimes, and you can adjust the threshold here, which is really nice. Let's take it back down here. That looks good. And that traced it pretty nicely. I like that. I mean, that was a real simple, simple design. But now that it's an SVG, you can change the color of it and do whatever you want with it. All right. So that worked really good there for a plain old black and white PNG. All right. Let's look here in our work in progress folder and see what we've got. Let's look at one of these. This is uh, some random, you know, clip art here. So let's open this and see how it treats. Oh, wow, okay, wow. And again, you can adjust your threshold, but, wow, that really traced that nicely. I am honestly, wow, I'm really surprised by how nice that traced. Okay, but again, now that it's a SVG, we can change the color of it and do whatever we want. All right, no. All right, let's try something a little more difficult than just a piece of clip art. Let's go back here. I know I have. All right, here's an image, a photo. Let's see what it does. It's a black and white photo, stock photo that I downloaded from somewhere. I can't remember where. All right, now that. Wow, okay. Um, let me add that to the design the way it is. Let me get rid of, or move these off to the side anyway. Here, let me add a page. And drag that one down here. Okay, let's take it up here and make it bigger. You know, that really, just for uh, doing a real quick trace on it, that really doesn't look bad at all. That would be great for um, laser engraving. So I'm just, can you tell I'm a little uh, shocked at how well this works? I um, have it look good. Let, how about these dogs? Let's try these dogs. That's a lighter colored photo. That cat one was a bad example because Everything was really dark around the cat. Now, let's go down. Adjust it down a little bit and see what we get. Let's add it to the design. Well, okay, it's not great on photos. I mean, that's really not terrible. Um, it's definitely not good, but it's not terrible. I think if I just spend some time adjusting the threshold, like one little piece at a time, we might get uh, better results, but I really, yeah, I'm not sure, but what I... Let me bring some more clip art. 
Let's go in here to clip art. Uh, how about animals? Um, let's take this owl. Okay, okay. That's not bad. Let's pull in some others. Try this out a little more. How about one of these that has a very... Um, it does not have defined edges. Let's look here. It will trace really well. You see that? That's not bad at all. That one could be better, but I didn't adjust anything there. I just brought it in just the way it was. But let's look in here. See, these are like watercolor type. Let's grab one of these and see how well it does tracing something like this. Mm. Not, I mean, I didn't have high hopes for it. Move these up a little more. Threshold. See what's going on here. I'm just, I'm actually blown away at that monkey, honestly. Let's go back. But he does have, even though he's a watercolor, he does have defined edges. Let's look in here. All right, let's take this pumpkin. Oh, two files too big. Four megabytes or smaller. Those are all too big. How about in here? Try the skunk. Skunk came out pretty good too. All right, so it works nicely on clip art and other images that have at least um, some defined lines to them. Okay, it's not the greatest I see on images, um, but that's okay. Um, for what it is, I think it, it works really well, honestly. Now, if you are someone who works with, you know, your crickets, your uh, silhouettes, it's really nice to be able to convert some of this clip art into SVGs because, you know, then you can save it as an SVG, import it into your cutting software, and break it apart if you wanted to and do different layers for you know vinyl and you know heat transfer stuff like that uh, if you are a laser enthusiast this is fantastic because you can take uh, you know graphics clip art upload them to canva trace them turn them into an svg save it as an svg and then open it in your laser software which is fantastic so this is a really cool little uh, app here now I like that you can trace some at least the simple uh, clip arts and images and stuff uh, it, like I said it you saw for yourself it's not the greatest when it comes to um, tracing photos but it really doesn't do bad on uh, clip art and stuff like that. So I just wanted to go over and look at it with you. Like I said, I hadn't tried it out uh, before now either. I figured I would fire it up and we could try it out together and see how it worked. So 
overall, I don't think it's a bad tool. Uh, it, there could probably be some improvement, um, but it's better than what we had in Canva. So this is a pretty handy little tool now if you uh, use cutting machines or laser machines at all. Uh, this is a nice way to convert some clip arts to SVGs for your cutting machines and your laser. So I hope you guys found this helpful and I will see you next time.